What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today I'm going to solve the 17 by 17 by 17 world record largest Rubik's Cube type puzzle, the Over the Top Cube by Oscar Van Deventer. Now I'm gonna do a time lapse video of it and that's what you're gonna watch right now. First I'm gonna scramble it, then I'm gonna solve it. And um, I'm also gonna upload the entire video to YouTube without any time lapse, so the whole full video. And it's gonna be like something, I don't know how many hours, but um, it's gonna be a very long video, so definitely check that video out. Um, I'm going to upload it as soon as I can, but it's taking a long time to encode the video, and it's gonna take a long time for YouTube to process the video. So uh, when it's available, I'll put it, put it up, and there'll be annotations in this video if it's already up and you should go check that out too. Uh, obviously don't watch the whole thing, but you can see how it turns better and see what it really is like solving a 17 by 17 by watching that one, where this one you can just see it be done a lot quicker. So anyway, in this video I'm gonna just briefly talk about solving it and then I'll let it go and you guys can watch it and I'll play some music and hopefully it's a little relaxing. <laughs> but anyway, um, the way you solve a 17 by 17 uh, is just like you would a 7x7 seven seven or a 5x5. Five five. If you can solve one of those, then the 17x17 seventeen seventeen isn't that hard, but it is very, very tedious. And so uh, the way I'm solving it is using the reduction method, and basically you reduce the cube into a 3x3, three three, and then you solve the 3x3. Three three. So first, I'm reducing the centers so that uh, every center is fully solved, and then I reduce the edges so the the edge pieces are all solved and then it's like a big Rubik's Cube with huge centers, long skinny edges and tiny corners. Although the corners are pretty big compared to the other pieces. But using the reduction method it took me five days to solve this puzzle and um, the first day I solved the red center, the second day I solved the orange center, the opposite side of red is orange and then I did the white center um, on that day. The third day I did the green center the fourth day, I did the last two centers, the blue and yellow ones, and that probably was the longest step I took, was doing those two centers. And then um, the final day, uh, I solved the first eight edges, and then I took a break and came back, and I solved the last four edges, and then finally I solved the puzzle like a giant three by three. And uh, mostly I, I solved it at night, uh, but except for the last day, I solved it during the daytime. Um, and by far the hardest part with solving a 17 by 17 is to like find uh, the piece you're looking for. <laughs> and so uh, it's not really that it's hard to find, but when, when you're looking for little pieces like near the center of the puzzle, uh, you can easily mistake them for ones right next to it. And so you have to be real careful to count like four over and six down, something like that, and make sure that you're looking for that piece instead of maybe five down instead of six down so you can really easily mistake pieces that are right next to each other and the hardest part was definitely the uh, last two centers and I don't solve big cubes very often and when I learned how to solve reduction method I just had it I read an overview on how to do it and then um, I just kind of figured it out and so I don't know if I'm solving the last two centers very efficiently but basically I'm just using commutators to put the pieces where they belong and so it's very inefficient and so it just took a very long time to do those last two centers which I'm doing right here. Now I'm going to stop talking and let you guys enjoy the video. At the very end I'll play the last couple moves in real time and then you'll hear the audio of me actually finishing the puzzle and you can hear my excitement. So enjoy!
Look at this. Last move. <laughs> and I did it. Wow. <laughs> Finally. I'm done. I can't believe it. Can't believe how quickly the edges went together. After spending so many hours on the centers, the edges were actually pretty quick. So I'm really happy with how quickly the edges went in. And yeah, I can't believe I did the whole thing. Um, I'm happy I actually attempted it. It's not every day you get to play with the world record largest cube. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy that uh, Aaron let me borrow his so that I could make this video. And I'm glad I took the opportunity to solve it because I almost didn't solve it because uh, you know I was worried how long it was going to take. But uh, I'm glad I went for it. So that's it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day.